let's go ahead and kind of jump into the, the main part of the, the meat here and talk a little bit about Camtasia 2019. The biggest question, of course, I get, is it worth the upgrade price? <laughs> and I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler here. I'm going to say probably. It probably is. We'll touch on the points as to why I say that, but essentially it kind of boils down to an evaluation, doesn't it? Anytime you're looking to decide whether to upgrade software or to purchase software, uh, it's an evaluation process. And my basic answer to the question of, is the upgrade worth it, is that I cannot decide that because it depends. It depends upon you. And so what I thought I'd do is just put together a couple of little things for you to consider in your evaluation criteria to decide if it is worth it to you. So first and foremost, I generally will ask people, well, how often do you use Camtasia? Do you use it every day? Do you use it all the time? Do you use it very sparingly and few and far between videos are created with Camtasia. If that's the case, then there are some new features and things like that, but almost all the time new features are geared towards a couple of different things. One being maybe a productivity enhancement. In other words, it saves you time and effort, right? Or maybe a performance thing where you can save time because videos render faster or these kinds of features, right? Well, if you don't use Camtasia very often or make use of any of the new features, then they probably don't do you all that much good. But that's probably the first question I ask is how often do you use Camtasia? Is Camtasia critical to your business? that would kind of imply that you use Camtasia a lot, but more than that, it means that Camtasia and what it does and what it provides you in the way of business benefits is that core to your business or does it help grow and move your business forward? Does your video strategy do those kinds of things? And do you use Camtasia to make that happen? So if the answer to that is yes, then you know we're starting to creep into the makes it much more worth it category, but that's one of your criteria. Another thing that I find kind of interesting here that we'll dive into in a second is what version are you upgrading from? And we'll touch on those points. And I actually put this one in kind of at the last moment because in 2019, I think it has a little bit of relevance to it. And the question would be, how good do you want your videos to be? There are a couple of new features that actually do a lot to literally improve the quality of your videos without you really having to do anything content-wise. When I say a good video, I'm not necessarily talking about the content in this case. I'm talking about the processes. Does it sound good? And a couple of other points. So the newest version does have a couple of these features that kick that up without having to do really anything. If you're content with whatever your video ends up to be, you know, and that's been your experience with Camtasia, and gosh, you just don't feel like going through extra hoops to make sure a couple of these features happen, or in other words, what you would have had to do in previous versions to make the stuff better, then yeah, maybe not. But if you really have an eye on quality, again, without doing a bunch of extra work, then we got that going on. We're basically, of course, talking about feature comparison at this point. So if you kind of make the decision that yes, it is critical to my business, and yes, I make a lot of videos, then the decision starts to boil down to what are you going to get, <laughs> right? So I already have the replay that we did with Ron on our last call, so I'm not going to belabor all of the various features. I'm going to hit a couple of them, 
that we definitely want to focus on. But as far as learning what all the other stuff does so that you can understand what might be possible and help your evaluation, then this is kind of the scoop here. So I will put a link to this video for you. And if you haven't seen this, that's going to be a good one to watch because we went over it in, gosh, some fairly good detail. So again, to kind of understand what you get with different versions, I want to touch on just a few things as far as the version history goes. When Camtasia 2018 came out, it was really just a few different features that were new. I'm actually going to put another link in the chat box here that you can use for e your evaluation. Uh, when we're talking about features, here you go. So here's a little comparison chart that we can use. But if we look at it, here's kind of the scoop. It's useful to be able to kind of at a glance see what kinds of features we get. So here are the new features in 2019. And if you scroll down, what you'll see is that in the 2018 category here, there's really just like this many. Here we go. And that's what I've kind of put on the slide here. This is basically what we get when you upgrade from Camtasia 9 to 2018. And for me, it was really eh, not much. <laughs> Again, unless you're just a severe power user, the brand new library was kind of nice. Customizable themes are, for me, more of a pain than a value. So, you know, barring some improvements under the covers and performance, for me, it was like, eh, I don't know. It almost had a hard time saying you got to upgrade to 2018, right? So maybe some of you have been in the same boat and thought the same kinds of things. So upgrading from 2018 to 2019, however, I feel is better because, first of all, there are more new features, but I guess most importantly is that there are more useful features. And I'll tell you what those are in just a second. It's a better upgrade, in my opinion, than Camtasia 9 to 2018. The real meat comes in when you are upgrading from Camtasia 9 to 2019, or in other words, from Camtasia 9 to the latest, greatest version. You decided to skip 2018 because, eh, didn't really need it or didn't think it was worth it. But here's kind of the, the nice part, is upgrading from 9 to 2019, not only do we get those new features that were in 2018, but you get to stack because all this stuff in 2018 is also included and added to in 2019. So now all of a sudden we're talking about a lot more bang for your buck as far as the features and the stuff that you can do, right? So that's kind of the scoop there. I would say that upgrading from Camtasia 9 to 2019 is a definite yes even perhaps if you are that casual user because not only do you get all the new features but of course TechSmith is always adding bug fixes so that's kind of the scoop on that so for me the 2019 verdict boils down to probably the two most important features and these have to do with that quality thing that I talked about. There are two features in 2019 that, like I mentioned, will almost instantly give you the ability to kick out better quality videos than you could in earlier versions. And those two features in particular and again I'm not going to get into every feature and stuff like that, but cursor smoothing and audio leveling. These two features take stuff that is kind of annoying or can degrade the quality of your video and just kind of fix them, <laughs> straighten them out. Speaking of straightening out, for example, the cursor smoothing will take a lot of the any jerky mouse movements that you have and it smooths them out so that they're just nice and straight and simple to the point 
not distracting. So if you've ever had to go into one of your projects and literally turn your cursor off because you're flailing around like a hummingbird on crack, and then after the coffee wears off, you might be able to turn your cursor back on, this just does it automatically or automagically if you prefer and I find that it adds just a really nice touch. In fact, go watch some of TechSmith's tutorials and what you'll see is a mouse cursor that moves very much on purpose from point A to point B in a straight line and then it goes over here and you cannot move your mouse that smoothly. There's always going to be this a little wiggle, jiggle, jangle thing going on, but cursor smoothing lets you get rid of that. It's a subtle thing, but it definitely can improve the perception of quality. And then audio leveling is particularly handy if you've ever struggled with getting the right volume level in your projects. Well, there's a certain standard that can be adhered to, but uh, screwing around with the like the compression stuff and uh, the loudness in a Camtasia project can sometimes be an exercise in futility because it can depend on a lot of things. Well, how loud do you have your speaker set to? It might sound fine to you while you're sitting there listening to it, but once you produce it out, maybe it's just nowhere near loud enough or way too loud. So having the audio leveling feature will automatically take your volume level to a standard level. And that is a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's going to give consistency across your videos. And you know, you can use other tools and pull your audio into Audacity or as Fred mentions, Levelator. Eh, life's too short, especially if you're not an audio engineer. This just kind of makes it happen to a standard. For me, those two things alone are worth the price of admission. So if we think about that version history thing again, let's say you have even Camtasia 9 or 2018, and you are that occasional user that I talked about, there's probably nothing wrong with maybe sticking it out till the next version of Camtasia, which supposedly is 2020, and stack those features even more. Like we saw in the previous slide, you can add a whole nother box probably to this mess if that's kind of the case, right? So that would be a consideration. And in general, again, if Camtasia is mission critical to you, then my basic take is I always upgrade. I mean, I do, because whether or not I need something uh, the bug fixes, or I'll find a way to make something more productive. I kind of view it as mission critical software. Anything that falls into that category for my business, I always upgrade. It's kind of like my Office 365 upgrades. I don't even think about it. I run the latest, greatest version all the time because it's got to be there. I got to have it. And that's just kind of the scoop. So if you are a constant user and it's mission critical, uh, I consider it to be like my upgrades for other software of, of that category. Uh, the upgrade is 99 bucks, so certainly that will come into play in your uh, criteria. And I'll go ahead and put a link in the chat box if you want to go ahead and check that out. That'll kind of give you all the details there. It's 99 bucks to upgrade the software itself, if you don't have Camtasia, which probably doesn't apply to most people here, is like 250 bucks. So upgrading, you can think of it year over year, is probably going to be about 100 bucks, which is the same as my office subscription. And that seems to be kind of the model that TechSmith is moving for. The last piece to that kind of strategy, I guess, is uh, called the maintenance agreement and you'll see that on the checkout page. If you have a maintenance agreement you will get an email like this that I got from TechSmith and it lets me know that upgrading to 2019 is free because I paid for this maintenance agreement. 
which is basically 50 bucks a year. So if we think about it, instead of paying 100 bucks a year to upgrade each year, I'm moving towards I get the maintenance agreement for 50 bucks and I get all that stuff, each new version within a year for 50 bucks instead of 100. So you also get a couple of other things there, but it will guarantee that you get the next version. So, you know, if it falls a couple of weeks after a year, I believe that you are still guaranteed to get your the next major update. You also get Camtasia certification. If you are inclined to do such a thing, you get a little certificate. You got to take some tests and they aren't that easy, but yeah, that's uh, one of the things never use dedicated phone support but that might be useful for some folks I guess I'll I'll try to make a clarifying point here you can't just buy the maintenance agreement and get 2019 for free so for example if you have 2018 right now you can't buy maintenance for 50 bucks and have them send you this little email what this is is an add-on for purchasing the most current version whatever that is right now it's 2019 so you have to buy your upgrade for 2019 and at that time you will be able to add maintenance I assume you can add it maybe after but I'm not sure so just to clarify you can't be running Camtasia 9 by a maintenance agreement uh, because you won't have the option to buy a maintenance agreement unless you purchase the latest version. Okay, I think that's pretty much uh, what I had on that guy. Let me make sure I've got all the links for you here. Uh, here's the Camtasia history so you can see kind of what they put into each version. By the way, uh, 2019 has had an update already and it's basically all bug fixes. There are new, no new features, uh, at least that I could tell. And you do get minor updates like these fixes. So any 2019.01, 0 .02, 0 .03, uh, you don't have to pay for. It's only the major release versions. Okay, so that's that kind of chart thingy. There you go. All right, everybody. That'll rack us up for tonight. Uh, thanks for coming. If you have any questions in the meantime, post them in the Facebook group, and I'll see you all later. Back to back and kicking ass.